So for today's video, I wanted to talk about a huge love of mine since last year. Last year, I got so obsessed with podcasts and it took me a while to kind of catch on to it. I know like people have been listening to them for ages. Um, and I was, I think at first I thought they would be boring to listen to. Like I didn't understand how many amazing ones were out there. Honestly, I'm so obsessed with like the whole concept of them, <laughs> even though basically it's kind of like radio channels that are edited about subjects do you know what i mean like it's weird it's weird that it's a new thing because i love them so much and i've got so and i really really enjoy like my little collection of them i thought why not do a video talking about my favorite ones so it there's not much to show you visually obviously but i've seen someone do one of these videos before and that's how i discovered uh, some of my favorite ones so I, I like to keep the topics of all of my podcasts mixed because I'm not always in the mood for one sort of thing, you know, so it just kind of depends what I'm in the mood for. So I listen to my podcasts on the Pocket Casts app. I just really like how it's laid out. I, I like, I don't know, it's just pretty <laughs> and it's really easy to navigate. Uh, this isn't an ad or anything. I just honestly really like this app. And then I listen to one of them just on the Apple Podcast app. Um, okay, so that mine are all here. Here's it. Ah, so I'm gonna try to kind of get, if, get through them quite snappy because I don't wanna be like chatting and chatting for ages without you guys listening to it. Little run through of what each one is, why I love it, what they do, and um, oh, if I can, can you link them? <laughs> I'll list them down below so you guys can check them out if you want to. Before I start as well, in case you guys wondered, my dress is from And Other Stories, so I'll link it down below if it's still available. And my necklaces, these are new actually, they're by uh, Kirsten, no, Kristen? Kirsten Ash or Kristen Ash. Um, they're really, really pretty. I love them. Oh, and my earrings are the Estee Daisy earrings. I'm going to go through them just on the order that they're on my app. There's, it's no particular order. The first one that I really enjoy is the Hilo. I may have ordered a coffee. <laughs> this is perfect. I've got my coffee. <laughs> I've got my cheese puffs. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, my boob keeps like trying to say hello. So annoying. It's the only thing about wrap dresses. Like one boob is always like, hello. The Hilo is a weekly... Oh God, I'm gonna be so bad at explaining. So the idea behind it is that they kind of discuss and bring to the table highbrow things and more lowbrow things and just um, just topics like all across the board. Um, it's I actually love it because I feel like I, I actually get more current news for them than I do on like my social social media uh, platforms and everything. I know that sounds really bad. I should keep up with the news more, but it's hosted by two London-based women, Pandora Sykes and Dolly Alderton. You guys have probably heard of them because they they uh, write. They were well, they both journalists. So I might get this absolutely wrong, and they are so like so articulate i think they cover each topic really well thinking of like the whole audience that is listening um they try to be as inclusive of, as they can as well which is good they obviously bring up like current events and things that are going on in society uh, and then they kind of just talk about it and sometimes they disagree sometimes they agree it's one of those ones where it's quite long but it goes by really really quickly because they cover so many things also, another thing I love about podcasts is that I feel like it's more female dominated, which is so nice. At first with the Hilo, when I first heard it, I, they sounded really, really posh to me. So I was a little bit like, oh, I don't know if I can relate to them. And then I gave it another go and then I was like, no, I, get, like, it, I did really enjoy it. So just a little heads up in case you maybe think you can't relate or something at first. My first few I feel like are so obvious, but my next one is Control Alt Delete by Emma Gannon. I was so happy when I discovered this podcast. Again, I was so late to it. Emma Gannon is, oh God, I'm gonna get everyone's like job titles wrong, but she's definitely a writer. She's written a few books. I think she might be writing another one actually. Each time she'll interview uh, someone who's so like got such an interesting story or has like built their own business or such a wide range of people that she talks to, um, and she's just such a great interviewer. She, like she asks all the questions that you would want to ask. Um, she's just very, I love listening to her as well because she's very like calm. She just seems like such a lovely person. Like I don't know what else to say, but very smart, very witty. And I always get sad when an episode is coming to the end because I really like just kind of hanging out with her and like listening to her conversations with people. So yeah, um, she had a book out obviously as well called Control Alt Delete. I just haven't read it yet, but 
The next one is probably my all time favourite and it's my favourite murder and I've talked about it so many times on my channel. So, and literally, everyone I know in real life, I'm always like explaining it to them and I'm like, listen to it, listen to it, you'll love it. So, um, hosted again by two women um, who are LA based and they each talk about a murder case from the past. Every time they do it, they don't know what one the other one is going to do, if that makes sense. So, you're listening along to each one as uh, at the same time as they're hearing it for the first time. And so it's a murder comedy podcast, but not comedy at all in the way that they're making light of any of the horrible things that happen. It's just more in the way that they talk about um, other things around that. I don't know how to explain it, but they explain it better than me. But I just love them. I love their banter. I love like, I love their chemistry and how they get on with each other. I also love the message that they send out because they talk about mental health. Um, they talk about just all sorts of topics. They just sound like such amazing women. Like I would love to meet them. Um, but yeah, anyway, if you're into true crime, murder, and like all the nitty gritty details and things like that, you will love it. I'm obsessed. I got so sad when I listened, like I um, binged them all and I got so sad that I didn't have any more <laughs> that I hadn't listened to. Okay, my next one is one of my definite favourites as well. It's the Receipts podcast. And I, I can't remember how I discovered this one actually. I think I was just like searching for more like chatty sort of podcasts. Oh, honestly, I wish these girls were my friends. <laughs> So it's hosted by these three girls who are London based. They're called uh, Tolly, Audrey and Milena. And they're all women of colour as well. And uh, you know, they're just so, so relatable. Like I, I love listening to them talk and they just kind of chat and it's kind of open form. Or sometimes they have topics actually that they talk about. Um, and I just love the way that they chat really normally about it all. And it's so, so easy to listen to because it it doesn't feel at all like it's contrived or forced or anything. Um, you literally feel like you're sitting there with three friends. I'll insert a picture actually, because they talk about this picture that people send to them, I think, of what it feels like listening to them. And it's hilarious. <laughs> Someone sitting there eating cereal or something like. <laughs> I just love everything they talk about. They cover like everything sex, race, uh, they talk a lot about like relationships, they also do like your receipts where they answer people's like, questions and when people get in like sticky situations and they send them in to see what advice they would give and I just think they give amazing advice but, and also it's just hilarious. Honestly, it's one of those podcasts where like I'm listening to it and I, I it's so hard not to burst out laughing when I'm in a pub, when I'm on public transport and I just feel like they've already kind of blown up but I just feel like they could be on T, like have their own TV show. I would definitely watch it. So. Next is Keeping It Candid, which is with Sophie Milner and Millie Cotton. So are they both on YouTube? Sophie's definitely on YouTube. I'm not sure if Millie is. And if, if they are, I'll put their channels down below. So Sophie and Millie, are, I've actually been on this podcast. So <laughs> I don't know if you can link podcasts. So you can go and find that if you want. I was on this one and um, it was such a fun experience because I'd never been on a podcast before. Um, and I love listening to these two girls chat about current events, um, just like what they've been getting up to that week and just their views on everything. They touch on all sorts of different topics, whether it's kind of more political, social political, is that the term? Do you know what? They did such an amazing episode once where they covered abortions as well, which I, I'd i never heard people talk so like openly and honestly about them before. And I just think they're so brave and some of the things that they touch on as well. They're just amazing girls doing amazing things. And I love their style as well and like their blogs and um, their Instagrams. So. In Good Company by, by Otega. I'm gonna say that wrong, <laughs> I'll write it in the video. But, um, so In Good Company is a podcast by the woman who wrote the, the Little Black Book. I think mine's downstairs. It's filled with amazing like um, kind of life advice, tips, like business tips. I feel like I would love for her to be my older sister. I feel like she's so wise, so again articulate, so like grounded and I, every time I listen to her, her podcast, I feel like I'm learning so much about like myself or like what I could be doing, what I, how I could improve myself. And I love the types of people she has on because 
it's such a good way for me to discover new people that aren't in the circle of people that I follow usually on kind of social media. It's one that makes me feel a bit smarter after I've listened to it. Next one is The Sunday Social. This is by Lucy Moon, who is a YouTuber as well. Um, I love Lucy so much. I've been on her channel as well. We did a, a talk together. She started a podcast and I really love it. I love, I, she is someone as well on YouTube who I feel like she's such a breath of fresh air. She's very kind of like calming and um, just loving lovely to listen to. Um, I really like her kind of sense of humour and just her personality. It just tells it how it is. Do do do. Oh, do you know what? I should have been saying some of my favourite episodes. Damn it. Okay, so one of my favourites of um, Lucy's Wars, I really loved Is Blogging Dying with Liv Purvis because I love her as well. Um, that was so interesting. I, I just love it when people branch out into a different platform. So it's kind of like you get more, of, you obviously get even more of their content and it's really enjoyable in different ways. Um, okay, so the next one is the last podcast on the left. Last podcast on the left is um, hosted by three men who I think live in New York or around there. Um, they are hilarious or like one, is it Henry? Henry Sadowski, he is hilarious, <laughs> I love him. This is another kind of true crime focused podcast where they talk about like cases, stories, um, all sorts of things, like all things kind of dark, I guess. Um, and it's actually really informative as well. At the, same, at the same time, they're hilarious. And I kind of pick and choose. What was my favorite? Oh my God, I loved the one they did about um, Rasputin. The one they did on Rasputin <laughs> was so good got me really into like Russian <laughs> history. I got really interested. Um, yeah, they're, they're really good. Um, okay, next is one called Adulting. And this is by, am I gonna get her name wrong? Anoni? I'll write it in the video, but anyway. I discovered this one because I followed Grace Fit on YouTube and I saw that she was on this podcast. So I went over, listened to that, and then I really liked the whole conversation and um, the podcast as a whole, so I subscribed. It's kind of conversational. She usually has uh, someone on each time. and She's done ones on race, diversity, and its role in feminism. Love, sex, and being single. Female friendships, that's on the Grace Fit, that was really good. Eating disorders and disordered eating. I feel like she was really highly educated. <laughs> she got one of those voices. She's another one that I feel a bit more kind of educated on things after she has these conversations with people. Oh my God, next, Table Manners by Jessie Ware and her mum. I love this one, this is such a good discovery. So in each episode, Jessie Ware and her mum, they have someone over for dinner and they cook for them and they just like all talk, they all talk, have each course and just chat about like that person, their life. But they have some really, really good people on, like what was my favourite? Sadiq Khan was on, that was um, really interesting. Oh, Yotam Otelengi, Alan Carr, that was funny. Um, they had Dolly Alderton as well. I love that she has her mum on it because it, it's just a bit different, isn't it? Because I feel like all we kind of hear is from our generation online and in podcasts. So on the line, Estee's um, podcast. I just love her. I don't know what else I can say, honestly. You guys probably know Estee. She is so, uh, for one, I love her voice. Hasn't she got an amazing voice? Um, and she's just so good at like chatting and kind of interviewing people as well. And she has some amazing people on. I listened to, I really liked her one on Reiki. Is it Reiki? You know, like healing with Emma Lucy. That got me so interested in that whole world. Yeah, and I really, really love how it's formatted and um, definitely wanted to give her a shout out as well. I love Estee. So Happy Place is Fern Cotton's podcast. I've always really liked Fern Cotton, but because obviously she's been on TV so much. So I was like, oh, is her podcast gonna be quite highly produced and kind of edited? It's not, it's so, so good. Um, she has amazing people on it as well. She's such an uplifting person to listen to. She's so, I feel like she's very wise as well. I just think she's such an amazing woman. Like, and I really like how she's opened up and shared so much about her own mental health. She's the most amazing interviewer. And um, you know, she's, again, she's someone who asks like all the questions that you wanna ask. And she, next is, under the Skin, which is Russell Brand's podcast. And um, I've listened to this for so long. I think I started listening to it actually on YouTube because they film each one as well and put it on YouTube. It's his like outlook on everything. He has on the most amazing guests. He obviously goes in, kind of picks their brain about everything and it's just so, so, I find it so interesting. And it's, I love his one because it's not similar to any other content that I consume usually. Um, and I really enjoy that it gets, 
it's that bit more kind of political and um, into much broader, more kind of difficult subjects. It's one where with a lot of the people he has on, I feel like I've learned something about like society or religion. Oh my God, I love the one he did with um, Tony Robbins. That was so, so good. Yuval Noah Harari, that was amazing as well. So the Goop podcast, I'm a bit newer to this one. This is the um, Gwyneth Paltrow one. <laughs> and I think it's got like a lot of people like it, I think, and then a lot of people think it's a bit woo woo. I've listened to a few of them and I did really enjoy them, to be honest. Do you know what one was amazing and I've, oh, I, I want to save this one actually so I can go back to it and listen to it when I need like a inspiration boost. It's the one she did with Oprah. It was her first one and oh, I think it made me fall in love with Oprah because obviously I've always known that Oprah Winfrey is the most amazing woman, but they didn't really show her show here in the UK, or if, if they did, I, I missed it, or I was a bit young to kind of catch it. So I've never listened to her talk that much, only a little bit. So listening to her whole outlook on life um, and on everything, I absolutely loved it. And it really made me, like, I wanna consume so much more, like, Oprah, Oprah, Winf <laughs> Oprah Winfrey um, material. So yeah, that was an amazing one. If you're gonna listen to any, listen to that one. Okay, next, my dad wrote a porno. This is the most hilarious thing, I love it. It's one, I think it's one of the most popular podcasts out there, uh, definitely in the UK anyway, so most of you probably know about it, but um, I was very late to the party, <laughs> and basically it's hosted by these three, two guys, one uh, girl, woman. One of them, his dad wrote a, wrote a, like a porno, novel. <laughs> novel. <laughs> It is just hilarious. It's so bad that it's so good. And the way that they kind of go through, so they go through it and more books, chapter by chapter. So episode, each episode is a chapter and they kind of go through it line by line, dissect it and why it doesn't make any sense and why it's hilarious. It's so hard to listen to on public transport. Okay, next is Where Should We Begin by Esther Perel. Oh my God, this woman. I was so happy to discover Esther Perel last, last year. So she is a, an iconic relationship therapist. So I, I think I discovered her because she, she did a TED talk. It's just the way that she talks about relationships, love, life, um, people, couples. I think when it comes to our world at the moment and how kind of relationships work and in the whole age of social media as well, swiping people, Tinder, um, kind of people turning into more um, like disposable beings in a way like when it comes to relationships or finding love so each episode is her and it's like an open um, therapy session with different couples each time so that they're on obviously different topics so one's on like someone's cheated or one is on like they don't feel sex they don't feel a sexual connection anymore do do it's one about trauma and it's just so interesting to listen to these couples who stay anonymous but you know you listen to them talk to each other and then every now and then she'll kind of uh, like voiceovers I guess like saying what's actually going on and why she's asking certain questions. So if you're having any trouble in your relationship as well, you can kind of listen to it and even if you're not meaning to, you can take things from it that you can use on your relationship. So it's kind of like free therapy. <laughs> Okay, Oprah's Masterclass. Um, I discovered this one and um, the other Oprah one, Super Soul Conversations through Hey Claire or Claire Marshall because I think she Insta storied them and I was like, oh my God, new podcasts. Obviously now I'm obsessed with Oprah <laughs> about 20 years late. So Masterclass is like each episode is with someone famous basically, but someone who has like a really interesting story that you can learn something from. Do you know why I really like it as well? Because it's just that person talking, so she doesn't like stop the flow of the story, it's just that person telling their story. Someone's probably asking them questions, but they've cut that bit out. And my favorite ones, were, oh my God, the Steve Harvey one. I didn't expect to love that one so much. I loved um his like life lessons they were amazing okay and then super soul conversations they're more about being your best self living an amazing life uh there's interviews with people as well like gabrielle union after having her baby uh oh my god there was an amazing one with with michelle obama i loved that that was so interesting the tony robbins podcast so after i heard him on the russell brown one i went over and subscribed to his one and uh it is just full of like 
parts of his talks, uh, just talks from him and they're so obviously so inspirational, so eye-opening, they make you look at yourself a lot more and kind of you can kind of try and see what's going on with you and why you might be the way that you are. A new one that I've just subscribed to actually is Girls Talk by Adua, Adua Aboa? I love her, she is such a big girl crush of mine, she's such an amazing woman. I like stumbled across it actually, I can't remember how I found it. Um, and then I listened to the one with her and uh, Georgia Smith. Ah, oh, she has, oh well both of them, but Adua, she has such an amazing talking voice. It's like butter. She runs Girls Talk, which kind of helps support women, women coming together, for it to be a safe place for everyone to talk about anything they want to talk about. So it's all around that. And she has different people on who she talks to. And you know what? I'm going to leave out the last three because they're really new ones and I haven't really listened to them much. One other one that I really wanted to include that I've been loving is the one I listened to only on the podcast app and it's This Podcast Will Kill You. It's hosted by these two women. In every episode, they explain a disease or they've done like the plague, polio, malaria, yellow fever, Ebola, rabies. So they go through each one. They talk about where the disease came from, the very origin of it, and then how it kind of uh, got, say, passed through to humans and then how it affects the human body. Oh, so interesting. It makes me wanna go and study. They cover it so well. They're also quite like funny as well. It's not a comedy one, but they're just really lovely to listen to. And they also talk about like if we should be worried about it today still. It's one that if I mention to people that I'm listening to that, they're like, <laughs> but I love it. It's so interesting. I feel like I learned so much from it. Okay, I think I'm all talked out about podcasts. <laughs> that was so many. I didn't think it would take that long. I really hope you guys didn't mind that it was just me talking and talking about ones that I love, but I love podcasts and I love listening to other like uh, recommendations from other people so I so hopefully it's been helpful um please let me know if there are any ones that you guys love because I'm always up for discovering new ones maybe one day I could start my own little podcast I would love to do that I'm just not sure what I would do it about I just think it's such a nice format because you can kind of get on with what you're doing obviously and just ha just like happily listen to something definitely leave any recommendations down below um and if you've got your own podcast as well like leave it down below I'd love to listen to it like I said Said, I'll link list them all down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!